Next question comes from Beer Stories on YouTube. Thanks for the good video. What pH is your sparge water at? When I was at Cartridge, my sparge water was close to 8, 7.8 to 8. That was kind of the pH range that we got. That's higher than I want to be sparging with. And so I would utilize my spray ball method because it was difficult for me to really impossible for me with the way my equipment is laid out and what I had available to me. I could not bulk pH adjust my hot liquor tank water. So what I would do is I would take the acid needed to adjust that volume of water per my water chemistry calculator, brewing water. And I would put that into a spray bottle. I would fill that up to the 25 ounce mark. And then I would look at five ounce increments. All right. Cause it's 25 ounces, right? I would divide my sparge water by five. And then I would usually make sure it was roughly 50 gallons, roughly every 50 gallons. I would make sure that I was getting through five ounces, every, uh, five ounces of the diluted acid for every uh, for every 50 gallons that was going on top of my mash bed. And I just did that kind of throughout the process. The reason I wasn't just dumping it straight in was meaning is because that acid would get rinsed into the kettle and I would see the pH that I wanted to see at the start of boil. But the idea is is to be sparging that grain bed with the acid adjusted water, not just getting your numbers right in the kettle. So that's why I tried to incrementally add that throughout the sparging process. So essentially what I what my what my runoff would actually be, usually my final pH, my last running pH would be anywhere between 5.5 five and 5.7, five wanting to keep it under six uh, in order to not stack up a whole bunch of tannin extraction. So beer stories, thank you for the question. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you feel as if you got any value out of the video, please like and subscribe. There are also other videos that you can watch. They're gonna maybe be over here or over here. Appreciate you watching.